Hello, in this video clip you will be learning how to use a multimeter. A typical one is shown here. A multimeter can measure the voltage, then it's called a voltmeter with the symbol V inside a circle as shown here. A multimeter can also measure the current, then it's called an ammeter with the symbol A inside a circle as shown here. A multimeter can also be used to measure the resistance of a resistor. Then it's called an ohmmeter and it's represented by the following symbol, the Greek letter omega inside a circle. First, let's learn about the different parts of a multimeter. First, there is the power button to turn the machine on. Next, there is the display where you make your digital reading. Third, you can select to use the voltmeter, the ohmmeter, or the ammeter part of the function dial. You make the selection using the function selector knob which you rotate to the parts of the dial. Finally, there are the ports where you make the connections to the multimeter using banana plugs. First, let's learn how to measure the resistance of the resistor shown in this picture. Now, let's learn how to make the connections and settings for reading resistance. First, turn the function selector knob to the ohmmeter part of the dial. Next, connect the red banana plug to the red high potential terminal indicated by V over omega. Finally, the black banana plug should be connected to the low potential end of the terminal indicated by COM. This is how it looks when the banana plugs are connected. Now connect the two wires to the two terminals of the resistor. Read the reading on the display, which in this case is 16.2 kilo ohms. Next, we will learn how to use the multimeter to read voltages. First, turn the function selector knob to that part of the dial for reading voltage. Next, connect the red banana plug to the red high potential terminal marked V slash omega and the black banana plug to the black low potential end marked COM. We are now ready to learn how to measure the voltage difference or the potential difference between two points in the circuit. In particular, we are going to measure the voltage difference or potential difference across the resistor. Point 1 is at this end of the resistor and point 2 is at the other end of the resistor. We can connect the high potential end, the red cable, to point 1 and the low potential end, which is a black cable, to point 2. The display now reads 5.47 volts, which is the potential difference or the voltage difference between the two points across the resistor. We are now ready to use the multimeter as an ammeter. We first ch turn the function dial knob to that part of the dial which is used for reading currents or ammeters. Then connect the high potential or red wire to the red terminal marked 2A corresponding to 2 amps and the black low potential wire to the black terminal marked COM. We are now ready to measure the current flowing in the circuit. The current starts out at the positive terminal of the battery, flows through the red wire into the resistor and back into the negative terminal of the battery. In order to measure the current flowing through this circuit, we have to insert the ammeter into the circuit. We do this by disconnecting the resistor and connecting the high potential red terminal of the ammeter to the high potential end of the battery and the low potential end of the ammeter to the resistor. Once this is done, we look at the display. It reads 1, indicating that the current scale that you have chosen with the function knob is too small for the current flowing through the ammeter. 
we have to rotate the function knob to higher scales in order to make a reading. When the scale is appropriate, as in this case, we go to 2 milliamps maximum current, we see that the current reading is 0.335 milliamps. If the terminals are reversed, there will be a negative sign in front of the digits indicating that the current flows through the ammeter in the opposite direction. This completes our review of how the multimeter works. Thank you for watching.